I'm Bruno Farah in an interventional cardiologic working in uh, Clinique Pasteur, Toulouse, France. Most of my, my procedures are PCI, especially complex PCI, and also I am doing some structural uh, procedure like uh, closure of PFO or closure of the left atrial appendage. So in our CAD lab we have the IGS 520 and actually what we try to do is to have the same quality of the image but with reduction of the, of the dose in order to reduce radiation for the patient, radiation for the personnel and also radiation for myself. The quality of image uh, uh, helps you to uh, clearly identify the, the, the severity of the lesion, also the anatomy of the lesion, and finally to take the good decision for the patient. The Stenvis uh, enhancement system is uh, quite a routine procedure. Uh, I will not do, say that we, we use it in 100% of the case, but almost 100% of the case, because uh, using this uh, system, uh, we are quite uh, confident, I will say, uh, of the final angiographic result. It's uh, a secondary uh, confirmation of the angiographic result. And uh, finally, uh, you know, uh, we are not using uh, intracoronal imaging for all the procedures, so it's uh, something that is intermediate between, between intracoronal imaging and the uh, angiographic, uh, final angiographic results. So, it helps us to be uh, quite confident with the uh, angiographic result. We evaluate this, uh, this uh, new application, the stent uh, visa bifurcation, and clearly uh, this has uh, some advantage when you have uh, to treat a bifurcation with two stents. First, it can help you to uh, precisely position the second stent at the level of the carina when you do a tap or a T-stenting. So clearly it helps you to be precise for the positioning of the second stand. And second, when you have the two stands deployed, uh, with this technology you are able to evaluate simultaneously the position, the deployment of the two stands and also to see clearly what is happening at the level of the carina.